And that leaves me pretty much at this point with the contents of my bag. So the EDC system extends into not only what you carry on your body, some of these weird fringe types of items, but definitely without a doubt, the backpack. And here I have the Helicon Tex Raider. This backpack is one that actually, quite honestly, I got my hands on today, packed this thing up, and I'm already like, yes, this absolutely rocks. Now, as I mentioned, I've had some pretty good success both with shoulder bags and with backpacks. A couple other reviews that I've done that were very successful in the backpack genre were first, the VanQuest Falconer, and second, and most important, the direct action gear, Dragon Egg. Now, the reason why I bring up the Dragon Egg is because this company here for this Raider is Helicon Tex, which is basically like the parent company to direct action gear. So there are a lot of similarities, similar features, and there were things about that Dragon Egg that to this day are some of my favorite features in a backpack. And I see some of that here today, which makes me extremely happy. The comfort in the carry, the way the back is set up, the overall structure and materials in the bag. There are a lot of things about this that are absolutely sweet. Now, the reason why I opted for the Helicon Tex Raider backpack is because of the overall features. The shape and size for me seems to be just about perfect. So an example is the fact that, as I already mentioned, I do typically have two water bottles with me. Now, not that other bags don't have water bottle holders. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is these ones seem to be just about perfect. So getting into it here and taking this and sliding it in, for an EDC bag and something that I'm trying to kind of easily get from point A to point B, from my house to my truck and my truck to the office, this to me is very simple where these slide in and out with ease, but at the same time, they are definitely deep enough to keep these in here. These bottles are going nowhere. So on both sides, I have the ability now to carry my water and my coffee. So you'll see on this side, it does have kind of this pouch here. I added this on. This is a Helicon Tex pouch. This is basically a dump pouch. So pulling this out here and expanding it, this does have the ability for me to add just a couple of extra things. Now where this is an EDC bag, part of me said, well, sometimes you end up with a little extra stuff that didn't fit your system. And now you're trying to cram it in the bag or get it in there. So I thought a dump pouch would be a great addition. So having this on the side of the bag, the ability for me just to kind of blow this thing out if I needed to and I had some extra stuff in my hands, I thought would definitely work. Now it's hard to say if I'm gonna keep this on here. We'll see if I end up using it. If I needed to, I could get it out of the way to clear a little more space for that water bottle pocket. But in the meantime, I think I'll keep it here and see how it works. So this Raider backpack is a 20 liter pack, which for me is just about the sweet spot for an EDC backpack. I think it's a balance between something that is large enough to carry all your stuff, yet small enough that it is flexible. It kind of leaves you maneuverable. It fits on a car seat. It fits next to you on a bus or a train or through a crowd, things like that, where you don't want a bag that's just overly sized and cumbersome. And that's what this is for me. It is a beautiful shape overall. Now I'm not gonna get into too many of the overall details, but I think at this point it is important enough just to talk about the overall general features and why I went with a backpack of this size and shape. Now the other feature that I really like here that's gonna work well for me is this sort of, uh, it's actually like a helmet carrier on the outside of the bag. This is a little bit stretchy, but another item that is a fringe item for me at this point is my jacket. I am basically carrying this Under Armour jacket with me pretty much at all times because of the temperature. It's actually water resistant and very comfortable. So for me, the ability just to have this jacket, stuff it in the front here, have it with me at all times works out quite well. And so this little helmet carrier in the front is just about the perfect feature for me to connect this up, have this with me, and I can wear it if I need it or just keep it in here if I don't. So at this point, this video is more about the contents in the bag and my EDC contents versus a review on the bag. So I'm gonna skip all the kind of other details on this. We're just gonna get right into the contents of my EDC backpack system. 
So generally speaking, I'm leaving the very front pouch here available so that when I get to some place wherever I want, I can take my wallet and slide it in here, have little things, maybe my keys even, if I just wanted to take my keys out of my pocket and slide these in here, it does give me the ability to do that. Now this pocket is not overly large, so it's gonna take just a little bit of persuasion to get a bunch of stuff in there. However, this for me is just about perfect. So leaving this pocket completely available is by design, just so that I have a place to stash some of my other gear that I keep on my body. Now getting into the actual details here again, this whole front being completely open so I can put my jacket in there. And then this compartment here opens nicely to reveal the contents inside. Now this setup is quite simple. I haven't gone into too crazy a detail on the inside of the bag. Basically three main items. So the first thing when I get in here, unzippering this sort of mesh pouch here, getting into this pocket, this is my field book. This has basically all the notes that I take on a daily basis on different things. A lot of notes that I take for the channel, different thoughts that I have and things I need to remember. So having it here, nice and accessible, is definitely handy and it's good to have it right at the front of the bag where I can grab it quickly. Now sliding this out here, this is a huge part of my kit. This is really sort of one of the newest revelations I had in my mind. I wanted something that was gonna hold a bulk of my kit and could easily be removed, all self-contained in one compartment, and this to me is absolutely perfect. So what this is, this is a case by the company Emdom. So Emdom is a sort of military and slash tactical outfitter with a number of different pouches and bags and backpacks and things like that. But this particular case is called the MM Gen 2 PMC. So MM is another company called Military Morons. It, this is a collaboration between Military Morons and Emdom. And then the PMC, this is a padded multi-purpose case. And that is the cool thing about this. And the reason why I'm really excited about this, it is very much multi-purpose. Now I'll get into the contents of this in a minute. This has a big comprehensive amount of stuff in it. So I'm gonna slide it aside and continue going through the rest of this particular bag here, the main pouch on the inside. So here you'll see I have a Helicon Tex. This is basically their pencil case on the top of the bag. Now what's cool about this, this is Velcro. This is part of the VIS system. VIS standing for Versatile Insert System. So you see the inside of the bag here actually is Velcro lined. This is very soft. It's kind of like a micro Velcro in a way. And then the back side of this has more of your hook side. So this fits nicely right in here on top, which is just perfect. So this has some very basic things just some pens and markers, and then a couple of cables, so a charger for my phone. Nice to have my cables and pens just in this nice, easy pouch. So here you'll see that this pouch here is capable of holding a laptop. I just have some papers in there now, things that I am gonna need to bring with me to my workplace, but the reality is at the end of it all, I probably will end up with a laptop in here, certainly capable of fitting in here, and even with all the rest of my contents. And going to the top of the bag, on the back side of the grab handle here, you'll see there is one additional pouch. Now inside here, I have some things that I want to get to quickly and easily and readily available. So because it's winter time, I do have a winter hat. So this is my Kuyu hat, a pair of gloves, a face shield, which is very versatile, gives you basically either a face shield, a neck gaiter. You could wear this over your ears if you didn't want a full hat, so very versatile. And then in here, very quickly, my larger flashlight. So if I needed a little more of an inspectional flashlight, I have this here, 1200 lumen output in a good throw. A bottle opener, which for me, I do go to kind of regularly, not necessarily at this point for me, but for other people. It's just nice to have it handy in the top of the bag. A battery charger, which is definitely sweet. So if I run out of batteries with my phone, it's nice to have a battery bank with you. And this is definitely something that for me is key in an EDC setup. And a small fixed blade. I happen to bring this knife with me because I wanted something that's very small and capable of actually cutting my food. I eat a lot of reheated meals at work, things like steak and meat, chicken, stuff like that. So to have a nice little fixed blade capable of preparing my food is definitely sweet. 
So the key with this knife being it's not so overly sized that it freaks people out. In the office place I like to have something that's a little more subdued and then the steel is basically a stainless steel which is definitely awesome if you're using it for food. Now each of those items fit in dedicated pockets which is nice. Not so much the winter gear that's just kind of slid down in here but this pocket is reasonably deep. If you look at how far my hand goes in there there is a good amount of space so this pocket is cleverly positioned and I definitely Definitely like it. Which leaves me at this point with this Emdom multi-purpose padded organizer. This thing is chock full of gear. Now again, the idea being that for me, I could potentially just leave this behind. This is the stuff that goes a little bit beyond what I typically need on a daily basis. So if I wanted to use my backpack for just a little different versatility, I certainly could just pull this out and leave it behind. But on a daily basis, these are some of the things that for me are going to give me the ability to perform some tasks that most other people can't because I'm prepared, because I have some of these funny little things with me that are going to help manage my situation, keep it either a little more safe, make it a little more practical, practical, allow me to do things that otherwise couldn't be done. Now the awesome thing about this organizer, the entire inside is Velcro. So all of these Helicon text pouches are part of their VIS system. So they are all Velcro backed. In fact, they have the ability with these flaps to kind of conceal the Velcro if you didn't want the Velcro to stick to everything and they're just basic pouches. Or you just pull that out of the way and pop them back in place and they all stay put, which is definitely nice. So the bulk of my stuff stays right where I put it. Now you'll notice here I just have a sunglasses case right in the top. This for me has my clear glasses, which I rely on all the time. I need safety glasses. I have to wear them when I'm at work. So to have them with me on a daily basis is definitely a must. Here I have an interesting little spool of line. This is the TRD. They call this the mini TRD. This has in excess of 100 pounds of breaking force, which is nice. So it should be pretty durable. Now it is a nice spool. I believe there's 150 feet on here. So just to have some line with me that's certainly durable and capable is a nice little bonus. But getting into these pouches, I have a couple of different things. First off, this here is a med kit. The key for me being that I will also use this on my backpacking and camping excursions. So the fact that I can just pull this out of this kit, take these flaps here, cover up the Velcro, and have a nice pouch that I can throw in my backpacking kit is totally sweet. But now on my EDC, I also have a nice little med kit. In fact, it's actually pretty comprehensive. So getting in here, I have all kinds of things. I have adhesive tape, I have hand sanitizer, lip balm, I have dental floss, but then I have all sorts of bandages, some medicine, bug spray, and sunscreen, and all kinds of things that, you know, it's not the fact that I necessarily need this, but it's one of those things that when you need it, you wish you had it, and bottom line is, I have it here right in this organizer. Now this again is something that I don't necessarily need with me in my EDC. However, to have it is pretty sweet. This is a small fire kit. Now it is very basic. I have some matches, a butane lighter and a standard Bic lighter, as well as a reasonably comprehensive little fire kit. Now I typically won't crack this open. The reason why I have this in here, again, I can take this pouch, I can throw it in my backpacking kit, and then I have my entire fire making kit with me. So I've tried to set up myself for multi-purpose use, not only carrying this and having useful things in my EDC, but already being completely ready to go on my backpacking and camping excursions. And the final pouch here, as I get into this, again, another VIS pouch from Helicon Tex. And unzipping it here, this is a little more kind of like tools, and then I have batteries, so some spare batteries, 18650s, some double A's and triple A's, some little basic necessities. I have some bits that go to this little screwdriver and then some needles, which is nice. So actually safety pins and needles in case I need them all contained in this nice little pouch. Now this is not something that I would bring with me backpacking. So this will probably stay right inside this Emdom organizer. 
and sliding over to this side. This side is kind of fun. I've had a nice time fitting out these different pouches. So here, a nice Maxpedition organizer. Here, one of their Velcro mag pouches. And then here, some Velcro mag pouches from Helicon Tex. Now, I very much like these mag pouches for a couple of reasons. The main reason being that they hold tools very nicely. So you can see here, it works perfectly for my Leatherman associated bits and driver that go with them. This is the Leatherman Charge TI, which is an excellent quality multi-tool. Now you'll notice that I do actually have a second Leatherman in here. This is a Leatherman Fuse. The reason why I carry two, it's not just a redundant thing, it's really the fact that sometimes you actually need two sets of pliers to perform tasks. If you're doing something to tighten both a bolt and a nut, you kind of need to hold on to both of them. So having two sets of pliers in my multi-tools is definitely a bonus. Now here I have just a couple of additional useful things. I have small rulers because I use them a lot and I do use them with my field book so that is definitely helpful and they slide in here nice and easy. A nice butane torch. This thing is definitely kick-ass. Nice to have it. It's actually what I use when I do paracord work. If I'm going to do any sort of uh, paracord lanyards and things like that, nice to have this to help melt the ends. But it is definitely many, many uses for a butane torch. Just a little widget to help clean my keyboard or little funny places if you needed a little brush to kind of get into some areas. And this actually allows you to kind of clean out little crevices and things like that. So just a funny little tool. I started originally carrying this because quite frankly it just fit this pouch. It was a little gift and I kind of kept it with me. But I have found from time to time it comes in useful. This is very, very useful. A telescoping magnet. If you don't have one of these, you probably should. You don't know the number of times you need to reach something. And even if you're not using the magnetic end, it is very useful to reach maybe under the couch, grab something, pull something that you can't otherwise get to. Reasonably compact, fits in here very nicely. A medium grit ceramic rod. So I carry a lot of fixed blades and pocket knives. And obviously the ability to sharpen them on the go is sweet. This is kind of burly. It's a nice heavy rod. I'm not afraid of damaging it. Nice ceramic rod. Has a couple of good angles. A couple of nice flat spots. And is something that's definitely worth having in my kit. I've had these forever. These little tubes I made myself. They're little PVC tubes. And inside, this one is full of different files. So little files, if you had to kind of file off some burrs or do a little bit of work, you would be surprised once you have these how helpful and useful they are. And actually, I go to them quite often. In another useful way, these are, they're not dental picks, but they kind of look like it. They're very similar to almost like dental picks that you would clean uh, your teeth at the dentist. Uh, these though, however, are extremely useful for digging things out, getting into funny little crevices, helping with little repairs that you would just be surprised what these can do to help you. So there's a number of them in here, different shapes and sizes, and different tips. So having these for me has always been very, very helpful and it's been something that's definitely been worth having in my EDC. And finally in here, you'll see, this is one of those funny kind of ninja cards. It was just a free gift. I've carried it and never used it, but it's there just in case. I would like to maybe try this out someday. I just never have really used it. But in here, a nice little assortment of bits. I go to people's houses all the time that can't even find proper bits. I personally need them myself. And when you get into some of the driver options on the Leatherman, you do have the ability to use some of these. So funny sizes, funny shapes, things that are very useful. I need them not only for this kit, but just in general in life. Nice little X-Acto razor blade, just something that's totally worth having. So what's been key for me is having a setup that's pretty clean. It has a lot of interesting and useful features, but at the same time is not overly redundant. In the past, I found my EDC systems, I tended to kind of overpack. Now I did maybe add more stuff than I need here, but I wouldn't say it's overly redundant. And that's kind of the fun part of an EDC setup. Coming up with a system that works for you and has the things that you think are going to be useful and that's going to help you in your daily life. And I'm also pretty pumped about the fact that I've actually worked it out so that some of these little sub kits are actually sub kits and components of my backpacking and camping gear that gives me versatility. That means I'm not spending more and more time basically building multiple kits or having redundant kits. It is the same self-contained kit and serves a dual purpose. So in that regard, I am definitely pumped. And the fact that all of this fits together so nicely 
very, very simple, very modular, easy to go together. These cases are beautiful, just wonderfully crafted, high quality, nice Cordura fabric. You're going to pay a little bit of money for them, but this is something you would have forever, and it is very versatile and capable of giving you a good long service life. And again, that's just the fun you have with EDC. Searching around, finding products, digging around, doing research, watching videos, talking to people, figuring out what works and what doesn't work, knowing yourself and the things that you do, your tendencies, the places you go, the people you run into. That is the joy you get out of EDC and something that I greatly enjoy. So before we wrap this up, I have a few thank yous that I have to get out there. First and foremost, thank you to Popov Leather for your support. Also to SK Blades. That Inferno is an absolutely rockin' EDC blade. And Helicon Tex, you've been an excellent supporter. I appreciate the back and forth we've had and working with you on these reviews. So alright guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.